let's draw Little Red Riding Hood. Hello and welcome to the uh, Little Red Riding Hood edition of Gogo Mock Rocket Sheep. Why Little Red Riding Hood, you may ask? Uh, simple, uh, because my daughter is doing a unit at school, a deep dive on fairy tales, and she requested it. So that's what we're doing today. Easy, medium, and hard mode. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the drawings that you sent in last week. start with a circle for a head and then we're going to do a skirt I suppose it would be called or a dress of some sort uh, so we're gonna do a little line down like this and another line back like this and then a line connecting it like that and then we're gonna have a foot down here and a foot back here I guess it's kind of more like a leg uh, little triangle shoes beep, beep. There we go. Okay, now the riding hood itself, I think is kind of like a, oh, I guess I gotta do the arms first. Um, okay, arm out like this, an arm out like this. And we're gonna have her carrying a basket. So uh, we'll go draw a circle. I guess she's gotta be swinging it. Circle, whoop, comes up like this. Me. And fingers one, two, three. And uh, let's do two baskets. La la la. Because I think in the fairy tale, is she bringing like a basket of some sort of goodie to her grandma? Okay. Now the face. We got this circle. I'm going to bring it to a little point here. We're gonna draw eyes, little um, upside down use for eyes. We can add the eyelashes, and then we're gonna draw a cute little triangle, inverted triangle for mouth, and then you can cut that in. nose. We're gonna do a little button, button nose, and then cheeks, oval cheeks, and then I guess little little dots for the eyebrows okay then the riding hood uh, a hood comes like this a little almond shape and it attaches right here you got a whoop, bloop, bloop, like that and then it comes over her shoulders like a cape Ooh, 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 spiky lines for a cape. Right. Um, bit and like that. There we go. Now, um, I'm looking at a bunch of different images of how different people have drawn Red Riding Hood. Uh, some of them put a little cloth over the basket, and that's a good idea. that eh, eh, eh. making a checkered cloth do on this one too and then of course baskets are woven so you can add some lines to make it look woven um, I'm just drawing the shape of the basket like the curve and then drawing the grid which is like you know when things get woven yeah okay um, what else? Some of them have her wearing like a apron, I guess it would be. I don't know what these old tiny clothes are called. So we'll just go like this. It's just a little loop, a little fr frill around the edge. And um, one of them has striped socks down to the shoes. I like that. And then. Um, some, a lot of the drawings that I'm seeing of Red Riding, Red Riding Hood got red hair. 
I think I'm gonna do blonde hair. So I'm gonna go like this. Nice. And actually, I guess it would all be in the hood, wouldn't it? So there, that's our easy mode. Let's ink that up and color it up. On these cute style drawings, you can use a dark color instead of a stark black to kind of soften up the drawing and make it feel cute. Okay, there is my easy mode Red Riding Hood. Looks pretty cute. Medium, medium mode. mode. Okay, for medium mode, I thought it might be fun to try to draw the wolf in the bed. So let's start with a bed, which is gonna be a rectangle, but it's gonna be a rectangle on an angle. So we start with the head of the bed, and then we draw the foot of the bed, and bring it back down. Nice. So we make this into a 3D bed, kind of a rectangle. <clears throat> then you want to build up the head of the bed, like that, and the foot of the bed, like that. And then make the bed have the legs like that okay I think I'm gonna make it kind of like a spirally bed so just draw a spiral on one end over there and on this end right here I think we actually did the same thing at a Santa Claus sled at one point if you've been drawing along with me for that long okay so we put the pillow here we're gonna draw an almond shape right there Bring the pillow up and over, 3D pillow. And these old timey pillows sometimes are like tied off in the corner, like kind of fun. Okay, um, maybe, uh, maybe f this bed has feet. Sometimes tubs have feet and maybe this old fairy tale style bed does too. Okay. Okay, so we have our bed, and we want to add a wolf. <laughs> so we're going to put a circle here for a head, and then wolves have a snout. And then, I think, traditionally, uh, the wolf's got ears. Okay, so traditionally, the wolf wears grandma's glasses to try to hide... Um, try to hide the fact that it's a wolf as well as a hat, maybe. Again, I'm looking at a bunch of different, uh, how different artists have done this over the years, kind of coming up with my own version. Then we're gonna draw the blanket, pulled up nice and high. So I'm just gonna draw a bunch of lines like this and it'll come over the edge, kind of like that. Okay, and then the what are these called? The paws, I guess? So obviously, all of this stuff is going to be erased and covered up, right? Uh, okay, so the body of the wolf, like this. And then the blanket needs to stretch over the body of the wolf. And it might be fun if the wolf's tail is sticking out here. Nice. Okay. Uh, or maybe his feet up here. Oops. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. There we go. One trick that I like to do with fabric, I don't know if I've shown this before, but like let's say you want to be a t-shirt is like this. You add a couple of waves, and then you add a V, and then another V going like that. And it kind of simulates how the fabric pulls and pushes and stuff like that. It's kind of fun. Uh, anyway, yeah, not bad. Let's ink this up. When I woke up this morning, I didn't think I would be drawing fairy tales and a wolf dressed as grandma in a bed, but that's one of the great things about drawing. There's always something new you can draw. You just gotta find it. Not bad. There's my medium mode, uh, what would that be called? Red Riding Hood's nemesis, the wolf, posing as granny. Kind of fun to draw. Hard, Hard.
so as you can see for hard mode I did an ink drawing of a picture of some kind of movie version of Red Rat, Little Red Riding Hood. I haven't seen that version of the movie but the picture looks pretty cool on the internet. So anyway, uh, I forgot that when you use uh, a pen with ink, that the ink takes time to dry and on this version right here, I don't know if you can, the camera's picking it up, but there's smudges everywhere, but I've, I've, uh, I've fixed it in, uh, where is it here? Uh, that, I fixed it in that version, so you won't see the, uh, the smudge on that. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you had a good time drawing, please send me uh, your drawings, gogomockrockcheap at gmail.com. I'd love to put them in next week's video. Thanks so much. See you next time.